Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Boy Game Geek, Spiel 17. I'm sitting down with Kai Herberts from Herberts Entertainment CG, and you've brought us. Uh, I, uh, I pronounce it Albedo, but I've looked it up. It's apparently Albedo. Albedo. If, if you want to. Fosses on the Salavo, yeah. <laughs> Which, what are we trying to accomplish here? Albedo. It's a deck building game where everybody controls a fleet and uh, you want to conquer planets. Uh, basically, humanity has spread all over space and then uh, the empire got too big and fractured and then everybody tries to uh, get as many planets for themselves as they can with their fleets. And in order to do so, uh, as in deck builder style, you recruit new units and uh, to help you out while you get some victory points. All right, take us through a turn. How are we claiming planets? So, so basically we start with nine cards in our deck and we draw six of those. So one, two, three, four, five, uh, and six. <laughs> so we have drawn an infantry and it has uh, zero points of space combat power and two points of ground combat power. We have four fighters and we have one ace pilot. And uh, all of these, the blue cards, are the spaceship cards. They uh, are good for, for air uh, space combat superiority, but you can retrofit them and simply by uh, rotating them around. Um, and now uh, the ace pilot has a bomb loadout on his spaceship and he has one point of uh, space combat power and one point of ground combat power. And there's always two planets per round. There are seven rounds of uh, gameplay. And here you see the victory points, so if you have two points of uh, uh, ground combat power, you can get a temple for two victory points. And to indicate this, you would rotate the card and the two is showing in the top. If you have four points, you can get the capital. For four points, you would turn it on the side. And if you have six, then you get six. And the next panel is worth zero, but it uh, lets you recruit units. Um, but I will, I will show you how it works by doing this. So I want to get those six victory uh, points, and so I'm using two points of, um, of uh, ground power and I'm rotating my, my spaceships here and I will adjust them that I have these six points of uh, right, yeah. yeah so it's a bit, a bit tricky <laughs> so we now have seven points of uh, space combat power and uh, six points of ground combat power and uh, if, if now we need to secretly take our location cards they are here uh, one two three Three is only used in a five to eight player right, game. Alright, so we don't know what planet we're landing our Exactly, on. exactly. The other players shouldn't know. So instead we are secretly deciding planet one, planet two, and then we put it on the table and everybody else has done the same already. And now we go to the resolving stage. So I say, hey guys, I'm in planet one and I have, this one was actually rotated like this. So I have uh, seven points of uh, space common power and six points of ground common. And I might this, say, hey, this guy that's only all I has have. a true pot zero and two, but there is another player here. And, and he says, I have quite a lot. <laughs> eight and four. And this is now the thing. So this player with eight space combat wins the space combat before we are even at the planet. So he's in first place, I'm in second place, and this guy with just a true pot is in third place. And now he sees, oh, you have six points of, or I have six points of, of ground power. So originally with my four points, I wanted to go here and get this factory. But now that I see that you want to uh, are greedy and want the victory points, I get first pick and he goes there and he takes only four victory points. And now I have a dilemma, because this location is taken, I only have this and this location left over. So do I go here? Then I would get the corresponding symbol, so there is this, the smoking factory. Battery, battery. So I would get a tank, which is very powerful, but I'm using only four of my six points. Or I could be efficient and go to this location, and there I have the choice, there are these cities for two ground points and, and this uh, starting ramp. At the starting ramp I could get this, because here you match the symbol again, you can get a fighter, a heavy fighter, it's, it's better than the starting fighter, but it's not great, it's not like a cruiser or a tank. And with these cities you can uh, do it similar to core worlds, you can get rid of cards, say these guys go to the cities, they are staying behind as a garrison, they are removed from play, so I draw my good units quicker, 
and they score one victory point. So basically you can either score many victory points or you can get a really good card for your deck or you can get a nice little upgrade card and some victory points and some deck uh, sinning. And there's your difficult and decision making. That's do exactly, I take points? That's, that's, do I get a bigger and, card? And, and how efficient do I want mm -hmm. to use my points? So there's this decision making in the beginning. Where do I go? How do I configure my planes? And then there is a decision in the resolving stage. Oh, now I don't get to, to carry out my initial plan and I, I have to readjust on the fly depending on what the other players do. And so this guy here, he can only either, um, this is the thing, if I were to, to go here, he could, he could still go there or there, because this location is a constellation prize, it's uh, virtually duplicated eight times, so everybody can go there, everybody always improves their deck somehow. So this guy needs to get completely shut Exactly, out. exactly. But um, basically this guy then would have, uh, we would resolve planet two, here we already spent our uh, troops, uh, uh, there's no more cards on planet 2, but this guy with the infantry, he sent his main fleet, so you can even split it up among two planets, he sent his main fleet there, and he for 4 points has a choice to get either a tank or a cruiser. And uh, the last thing I want to show you is, these decks, they are shuffled initially, you only know what is the first card I could get, but there's different cards in here. And there's different cards in here. There's a cruiser, there is a destroyer, and there's a mine layer. And the small upgrades, they are always the same cards. It's uh, and that's basically the game you play for seven rounds. It's very quick because of the simultaneous action selection. And we're running a Kickstarter right now because it's already sold out. So wow. if you go to Kickstarter, then uh, the reprint uh, will be there. And, and, it, and it plays in under an hour. Yes, it's uh, always 45 minutes. Actually, we've tested it in all configuration, even with eight players, and it was maximum 42 minutes, but I can't write 42 minutes on the box, so I said 45. <laughs> That's it's, wonderful. Uh, <laughs> well, if you guys want to check that out, that is Albito, which is from Herbert's Entertainment UG, and Kai, thank you again. Yeah, thank you, Bess.